An hour and a half southwest of Albuquerque and only 27 miles west of Socorro, on Highway 60 is the historic town of Magdalena. Nestled against the mountains of the same name, the town of Magdalena and its time-worn, beautifully weathered buildings have a very particular allure. Structures here serve as a reminder to the years this town acted as a commercial hub for surrounding cattle and mining industries. The framework of the stockyards where thousands of cattle were ushered after making the journey on the Huff Highway stand quietly in the center of town. And the landmark Santa Fe Depot and adjoining historic boxcar are evidence of the railroad spur line, which designated Magdalena as the trail's end, where cattle and rich ore from neighboring regions came to be shipped nationwide. The textures of distressed wood and rusted metal, along with the sheen of fresh coats of paint on refurbished buildings throughout town, create the perfect mesh of past and present. Truly a crossroads of great Western history and the scientific frontier of today, Magdalena sits smack between the VLA and the Magdalena Ridge Observatory and is the ideal location for the star parties it hosts twice a year. But beyond its appeal to lovers of astronomy and the skies, this town is also known for its growing art community. And the first Saturday of every month, Magdalena hosts an open house with studio tours so visitors can get a personal introduction to the town's art and artists. Housed in the old bank of Magdalena is the Village Press Print Studio, my first stop on my studio walking tour. Did I catch you doing work? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I was working earlier, but uh, not right now. This is a gorgeous space. Well, thank you. It's fun to hang out here. I have to tell you, I've, I know nothing about printmaking whatsoever. So giving me a little insight into what this is about or how one goes about printmaking in the process. There's a whole vocabulary that goes <laughs> along with uh, letterpress printing. This is called a chase. The chase fits down into this platen press. Lori breaks down the basics of printing for me and then actually offers to give me a hands-on experience at the press. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you're going to tell me if I do something wrong because I don't want to mess up course, my really hands or the that. machine. <laughs> You're going to step, step on. on the pedal. Okay. Power through. Power through. You might want to keep a hand on it. Lightly so it doesn't flip back over into the pink. But. And you can see how each one is individual. They have some of the, the creases and some of the inconsistencies that There's make history. it perfect. Yeah. There's history in this. I like that. <laughs> this moment will never happen again. And so, therefore, this piece of art is one of a kind. There you go. All right. Except for all those that are laying over there. <laughs> I'll definitely be back. Okay. Okay. Good. I'll All right. Count on that. And I'll have to bring my own design next time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> After leaving Lori, I head down the street to the former Badger Bruno Warehouse, now the home of Artspace Warehouse 110. For such a rustic building, it has exquisite contemporary art. I talk with proprietor Catherine and the Venezuelan artist Mary, whose work graces the walls. Uh, tell me about this art. I I'm interested to, to know what it is, what it's made out of. It's super vibrant and it's like alive. So can you tell me about the process? Uh, sure. Well, what Mary is doing here is she works with crude oil. What she does is she p applies crude oil to vinyl and it goes through kind of a process of morphogenesis where she incorporates the pigment and then waits until it gets to a certain point where she then stabilizes it with ethanol. And then the fibers that are on the top of that are, are sugarcane huh. fibers. So all these... And naturally occurring chemicals and, and liquids all kind of coming together in this mold. You are talented. <laughs> yeah, this is, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. This is yeah, great. Yeah. This is just an awesome space. I would never imagine to see this behind, you know, behind the building. Uh, so what is the, is, is there a history behind this building? It's always been a feed store of some sort, oh, okay. a feed storage area of some sort. Then when we bought it, actually, originally, it, it was a feed store. It was a okay. feed hack and supply store. But the original vision was always to convert it into an art space. Right. And so eventually the opportunity came and we, we, we decided to do that. So right. we're thrilled to have it and to share it with the community and to share it with people coming to town. Right. So, if those Cowboys could see it now. Well, they, well, you know? they, they do actually. They, do. they come and visit. <laughs> right. Yeah, they come and see it, and they're kind of like, in, they're in awe, you know, and, and kind of in shock as yeah. to the transition. Right. I, 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 that's mm -hmm. one thing that really strikes me about Magdalena. It's this huge juxtaposition. It's this gorgeous landscape that has such deep roots in cattle, you know, in the cattle industry, and it's all these things that scream old Wild West, but then. Mm -hmm. There's this thriving art community. It's inspiring. The whole community is very inspiring. 
As the sun begins to lower in the sky, I head for the Magdalena Hall Hotel, where they're kicking off this summer eve with the renegade country sounds of the most McCormick band. Now, the M&M Cafe at the hotel has some of the best food you can find in town, so you know you're in for a treat when they fire up the grill to make barbecue ribs for the first Saturday crowd. I managed to snag a seat up front and start digging the music and into my play. The town of Magdalena certainly knows how to deliver on all fronts. Mark your calendar for the first Saturday of every month when Magdalena has the open house art tours. And keep an eye out for the old Kelly mine along New Mexico Highway 60. And if you have the time, Magdalena makes a great launch point to other area attractions like the VLA and Pytown.